living or working in the city of St. Louis means paying more on your taxes. Tonight's day lawmakers are putting those earnings taxes under the microscope through hearings at St. Louis Community College Forest Park. And our David Amelotti has the latest on the committee looking at getting rid of that 1% tax, David. Well, the earnings tax is collected in St. Louis as well as Kansas City. They started decades ago as people migrated from the state's biggest city to the burbs. The cities are still big economic engines for the state. For several years now, Republican lawmakers have tried to eliminate that tax, but there are just not enough votes in the Missouri Senate. So today, state representatives on a special committee met here, hearing from experts about the impact of the tax, both positive and negative. While well, the last three referendums on the earnings tax show voters approve it, one West County lawmaker doesn't think those votes paint an accurate picture. I never lived in the city, but I paid it. And I'm sure there's many in that situation, particularly as we go to remote workers. So if we're going to keep talking about the, you know, well, will the voters keep approving this every five years? At some point, we need to answer the question, are the people approving the tax the people paying the tax? Because if we have a large number of people paying into this who don't get to actually vote on the tax, you have a rep taxation without representation situation. Voters will again be asked to renew the taxes in 2026. And by the way, dozens of cities across the country have earnings taxes. And at 1%, St. Louis and Kansas cities are among the lowest. Sam. All right, David, thank you. New at six